Um, hello, I'm Charlie. I'm a sophomore from Bellevue West. <laughs> my lips tremble with fatigue after a long day of steady sun, physical exertion, and questioning my sanity. My bed has never seemed so welcoming as it has these past few months. Lately, when I wander the fields, it feels as if taking one wrong step would put me in a ditch, like if I stray from my predetermined path, I'd be in peril. Treading on thin air is a feeling I'm familiar with, like if I don't watch the ground, it will move out from under me. I'm made out of thin air. My voice is no louder than if I only spoke with thin air. The voices of my companions constantly buzzing in the background to remind me what a failure I am. The thought makes me panic, deep breaths never enough to soothe me, out of step, out of time, out of breath, out of line, all of these things are relatable, feeling unstable is just a part of my life. I'm supposed to feel supported by my peers, we're a family united, but being singled out is part of the game, the team is only as good as the weakest link, there can't be a chink in the armor that would bring us all down, even so, the show must go on. Well, go ahead, because raining on this parade isn't going to cancel it. If I don't show up, they'll live, right? Wrong. Everyone is depending on me. There can't be a hole without the parts. Boss says we all have to be there, so we have to go. The prickling of rain against my forehead soaks the confetti on the ground, feels like pins and needles against my skin. Not the good kind, like when you're watching a horror movie sitting in suspense, but the bad kind, like when you're on the edge of a cliff and about to jump. But cliff diving isn't an option. The show must go on. My anxiety makes me feel constantly 10 degrees. Too hot or too cold or maybe both. My hands are trembling, but I have to push it back and put on a brave face. How long can I keep up my act? I left my mask at home. The performance is in an hour. The show must go on. Every mistake I make is a wrong note. Quite frankly, my whole life seems out of tune. People, other people that aren't me to be clear, can talk in perfect harmony, but the only thing escaping my quaking lips are off-key melodies. I suppose in retrospect, melodies are important, I guess. The relevance depends on whether you get them right, but what does that matter anyway? The show must go on. A penny for your thoughts, rather, five cents for a yard, a, y a nickel isn't worth much unless you've no joy in life, in which, I, in which case I guess it still isn't worth much, but the feeling of being worth something is incomparable if all I have to do is walk five yards. The catch, oh the catch, you're going to love this, is that you have to walk perfect 11 and a half inch steps, you're expected to in fact, while keeping your head up high, and you're not allowed to flinch while the cars fly past you, how am I going to pay my debts if I don't get that nickel, the show must go on. My pulse is in sync with a metronome, sometimes it gets off beat, aka sitting at home shamelessly binge watching TV is might and doing Twinkies enough to overdose, even if it was, the show must go on. Some say I might need to spice up my life, make it a bit more saucy, but honestly I have too much on my plate right now, I'm chock full of your baloney, there's no more room for things like pleasure. I can't pinpoint the precise time that they stopped telling me to shoot for the stars and instead a target appeared over my head, one I have to keep shooting for, but it's just slightly unattainable, slightly out of reach, just high enough to where if I hit a bullseye I might just die from asphyxiation and lack of oxygen. The sound of silence is so much sweeter than that incessant sarcastic spittle singing a sabotage in my ear. They tell you to practice to get better, but what they want is for everyone to be the best. Little do they know that all it's doing is pitting us against each other. We're not in it for the choice, we're in it not only to beat the competition, but to be the competition. Thank <laughs> you.